I'm not sure if you've come across a programme on BBC Free. I'm just going to keep my voice around a little because it's early hours in the morning. A programme on BBC Free called Free Speech, just Free Speech. Basically, it's um, the format is a studio audience of, well, it's, I was going to say predominantly, but entirely young people, um, let's say late teens, early 20s. Um, and usually they have a guest or guests in to sort of take a question and answer session and it's a sort of debate format. Um, they've had Nick Clegg, Ed Miliband. Um, I haven't watched all the episodes, but I have seen quite a lot of it. I've seen clips of it from, you know, I've watched the whole of the Ed Miliband and Nick Clegg episodes and I've seen clips from other episodes. So I've got a fairly good idea of what it's about. Um, I just want to express my thoughts on this. Firstly, the, the concept is a very good one. Um, obviously, free speech is something that is sacrosanct in our culture, in our democracy. Um, and it's something that we hold very dearly. So it's very it's very good that there is a format or a concept that there is a situation like this where people can more or less say what they want. Um, however, there is something that I find off-putting about this show, and that is that people who seem to have dissenting views are shouted down and uh, jeered and booed and I really don't like that. I think it's childish and I don't think it is a way to conduct a proper debate about something. I appreciate that people have strong views on subjects um, but it creates an atmosphere almost, dare I say, it, bullying because it, it leads the person who's trying to make their point feel as if they don't actually have free speech. Technically, no one's stopping them. It's not like they're being told that they can't say what they're saying. But when they're being jeered and booed, it's it's unpleasant, personally, I find, to watch. I think the people who are doing it need to grow up. And, um, you know, I throughout my life, I've come across a lot of opinions that I don't like. And yes, I would be prepared to debate or argue with a person. But I wouldn't, like, feel empowered by going, boo. It's, I think it's just very childish. Um, I've seen a few people saying that this program is very biased um, against UKIP supporters and against UKIP. Uh, I, I don't know, I haven't seen enough of it to know if there's a bias specifically against UKIP, but I would definitely say that there is signs of a left-wing bias. Um, wherever there is a view presented as sort of right-wing or somewhat conservative, uh, and you know those terms themselves can be thrown around a bit, but the person is booed. There's an example I gave in one of my previous videos, a young man, it was on my other channel actually, a young man in one of the events in the Ed Miliband event raised the issue of feminism within the Labour Party and he even said that he was a Labour Party member. The second he mentioned that, all the feminists in the crowd uh, jeered him and booed him down and um, he asked his question and Ed Miliband addressed it but that's the sort of atmosphere I really don't like. Now, if they disagree with them, why not just hear them out and then, you know, they can have their views. There was another episode uh, entitled Is Britain Sexist? And that was bullshit because they had four panel members. Three of them uh, had a certain view and one of them had another view. And I, I couldn't even watch it. I put it on mute because it just irritated me so much. These aggressive sort of feminist viewpoints. Um you cannot have an event called free speech if you're only going to give a platform to one side or you're going to give um you're going to create a biased situation now i've seen their facebook page and i've seen them reply to a few of these allegations and they insist that they try to make the audience as reflective as possible i refuse to believe that because i don't think that audience is really reflective because not all young people think alike. Not all young people are on the far left. Um, so I, I think there's something very questionable about their format. And the BBC has long been guilty of this, I have to say. Um, I'm not saying that, you know, there's often an allegation that question time is the same. I, I don't want to come out and make an absolute cast iron statement like the BBC is biased. And if I've just given that impression, maybe I shouldn't have done so because I don't actually have any evidence for it. All I'm saying is that there is a strong inclination, there is a strong um, impression that there is a bias there. Because in these so-called debate shows, 
the studio audience has always seemed to be um, largely swayed towards one opinion. And yes, there will be a few alternative views, but they always seem to be swayed towards one opinion. And um, you can see that based on the reaction of the crowd if there's claps or boos. Um, and they tend to be more veered towards one direction. So I really do think that there needs to be scrutiny of how they select these audiences. It's a very important issue. Um, I mean, it might well be that they're being honest and they, they really do try to be as um, objective as possible and get as many viewpoints as possible. But all I'm saying is the impression is the contrary. So that's what puts me off this program. And it's a pity because I think it's a good concept. But I, I think there should be some... I think they should have a format whereby people can have their views, but they try to discourage people jeering others down because that ruins having an environment where people feel comfortable enough to express themselves. Um, and I think sometimes I don't particularly warn the those hosts. I think sometimes they actually encourage that sort of negative um, atmosphere. They, they'll come up with snide comments like, Oh, oh, they don't agree with you or something like this. And it's almost like they're trying to goad the crowd into it and they really don't like it. Um, I think that's unprofessional. They should be completely neutral and I don't think they are. I think they themselves come across as very biased sometimes. So let me know what you think of this programme if you've seen it. Just to be clear, I, I'm not attacking everything about it. I think it's a good concept. I just have an issue with some of the the way it is handled because I think that there should be a situation where people should have their views but they shouldn't be encouraging people to jeer others down and I think you know um, it almost, it'll almost end up becoming like a talk show with Jeremy Kyle or some rubbish like that and I actually think it is good to engage young people in politics and current affairs issues so the concept is good the setup is not that's my conclusion BBC Programme Free Speak. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you.